Hey, hey, how you doing? I am Gio. Welcome to the channel and welcome to another music reaction. Today, as promised, as promised, today, as promised, we are looking at some K pop. Um, I don't know why, right? I, I know I, I've, I've never heard K pop, right? I've, I don't think I've ever heard any K pop. I saw it swimming in a different ocean or different oceans. Never the K-pop one, but I know it's huge. Like this song I'm gonna do right now has got 1.7 billion views. 1.7 billion. That's that's huge. That's massive. Um, and I, I will see what it's all about. Right, I, I did say on this channel we'll be doing every yeah, every genre, but you know, I did say when I when I was doing this channel there'll be no limits. Right, we'll go in any direction I want or we want. And we'll see. And so let's let's check out some K-pop. I'm, I'm I'm not just gonna do one song. I think I'll I'll do a few, right? So I can get a fair a fair shot. I don't necessarily think I'm gonna like it. I do. although I've never heard it, I've got a preconceived notion of what I think it is, right? I think it's gonna be very similar to the stuff we got in the early two thousands, late nineties, where Music managers were put odd odds for people to join bands. And they weren't necessarily musical people. They were just like, you know, good looking, but I had an image. And they sort of got told, they sort of got told what to wear, how to act, how to look. And they were styled, right? They were molded. They weren't really their own people. They were, they were part of a, they were part of a, an artificial construct. So, but, that's what I think it's got to be. Let's actually see what it is. See if it's good. See if they're talented or they're just all show. Let's see. Copyright break, I suppose, and it didn't make any difference. I was actually catchy, but it's catchy in like a terrible way. It's not terrible, but it's like it's a catchy in familiar. It sounds like it definitely sounds like something else, and it's very uh, Michael Jackson. And it sounds a bit like they're not actually saying it. I'm not sure if they are or they're not, but it sounds like it, they're miming somebody else's. They definitely were right. There's no way they wrote us. And like the lyrics are awful, but it's catchy. It's it's bouncy, it's it's well produced, and it's well made and yeah, but manufactured completely, yeah, totally. But you know success is success, isn't it? I like dynamite. Bring a friend. Very job. Off the wall, it's me.
Oh yeah, he's Korean. Yeah, you can hear Dr. Sandow. Whoa, who are this up? Is this, is this a, like a, an edit of someone else? That sounds very, very, very familiar. I mean, it's got hints of like 70s funk in, of course, disco, but yeah, the, like I said, it's, it's what I made the sound good. It is well choreographed and well produced and stuff like that. Aimed at a certain market, and I'm fairly certain that market is not me. But again, you can't actually um, deny the success of what S is. It's just I think, from what I've seen a lot about online and stuff, people take it a lot bit too seriously. People will look for S guys doing, look what a guys doing. Mate, the guys doing exactly what he's told to do. Like they might as well be robots. Like walk here, do this, dress here, I your dress, and walk here, say this. Like, yeah. Like I say, name my thing, but it's a lot of people sting. It is a lot of people sting, apparently. But. Oh, very cool. Very cool, right? So I is BTS with Dynamite and it's my very first experience of K-pop. Um, yeah, I, I get it. It's catchy and it's um, aimed at a certain age group in, you know, in, I guess, people who weren't around in the 90s, right? Who never saw the first incarnation of the boy band phenomena, right? But that's, that's just their version of it, right? We're, we're, I'm like, it's all been done. But people will be like, well, nay, in my time. Not not in my time. That's like, all right, old man, your time's passed. But, yeah, um, the lyrics were, like, simplistic and just repeated. The dance moves were just repeated. It was well choreographed, but there wasn't really much to do. It was just, you know, same move. Michael Jackson style stuff. Um, Good-looking boys. And yeah, they sounded, they sounded auto-tuned to shit. But, right, but I'm saying it's catchy. I don't know what heap of K-pop fans are talking about. It is catchy, you know, I understand why you like it. It's just not, like, I'm too old for that shit. But I want to listen to more. So, the Jeff is something different. It's not K-pop. It doesn't have to be BTS. But something, something that's not that. Something completely... Show me some range of what they've got, right? And, and I'll, I'll 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 check it out. But that was terrible in a catchy way, or good in a terrible way. Anyway, I was BTS. I was down about was one point seven billion views. Um, thank you for watching. Um, you can get us on Patreon if you want for early access if not just wait it'll be on youtube um it's good to be back thank you for your patience thank you for the comments thank you for the suggestions thank you for your views like i said leave a suggestion for what to do next and again i want some more k-pop suggestions but not just k-pop anything anything you want any genre i'm going in any direction you want thank you for watching and i will catch you on the next one